the topic which we were studying this week is magnetism and electromagnetism and we yes, have everyone. what bisma okay so we have covered almost half of the chapter and these are the learning outcome outcome that we have covered so far describe the forces between magnetic poles and between magnets and magnetic materials describe induced magnetism state the differences between magnetic non magnetic and magnetized materials describe electrical method of magnetization and demagnetization and other methods of demagnetization describe the plotting of magnetic field lines with a compass state the differences between the properties of temporary magnets example iron and permanent magnets that is steel so this is what we have covered now we are going to cover the remaining part of the chapter which is the use of permanent magnets and uh, the choice for material for and use of magnetic screening describe the use of magnetic materials in a computer disk drive describe the pattern of the magnetic field due to currents in straight wires and in solenoids and state the effect on the magnetic field of changing the magnitude and direction of the current describe applications of the magnetic effect of a current in relays circuit breakers and the loudspeakers so this is what we are going to cover in this lecture now moving on to the first part electromagnets this is what we have covered in the previous class right electromagnets are the magnets that can be turned on and off by switching current on or off because when you are switching on current the current has its own magnetic field and this magnetic field can be turned off by switching the current off iron is a temporary magnetic material so when the current is off there will be no magnetic effect of current and that's why the iron will also be demagnetized and there will be no magnetic field of the iron so if you are making an electromagnet the core of the magnet must be of uh, iron and you can increase the strength of the electromagnet by increasing number of times of the solenoid or by increasing the current okay now there are some applications of electromagnets first one is loudspeaker in loudspeaker there are two magnets in loudspeaker there are two magnets one is the magnet of the loudspeaker itself which is a permanent magnet it has permanent north and south pole while there is another magnet which is electromagnet connected by an alternating current supply with a rheostat and with the iron core because it is electromagnet so if you turn the alternating supply on there will be alternating magnetic field of the electromagnet and this uh, alternating magnetic field will create alternating magnetic poles at the facing end of the magnet so for example if at the facing end there is north pole of the electromagnet then there will be a force of repulsion and if there is a force of repulsion the cone will be uh, pushed outside similarly when the pole is opposite for example south pole then there will be an attractive force between the permanent magnet and the electromagnet and the cone will be moving inwards so because of continuous uh, change of the pole there will be force of attraction and repulsion between the permanent magnet and the uh, magnet of the loudspeaker so the cone will be vibrating in and out and because of series of vibrations there will be series of compressions and rarefactions when there is compression there is more pressure and when there is rarefaction there is less pressure 
and these series of compressions and rarefactions are felt by our ear as pressure differences and we, we can call it sound wave as well. So is there any question uh, regarding loudspeaker? Adina? Hasnan? There can be two questions related to loudspeaker, right? One is from the sound and the other can be from magnetism itself. Is there any question, anyone? Related to loudspeaker. Hasnan, Ram, Meer Hassan. No, sir. Thank you. Okay, then Ram, please explain what is the phenomena of electromagnetism in loudspeaker. Sir, due to alternating current, uh, as an alternating current, the direction of the current always changes. So, sir, on the iron uh, core, the, or you can say the magnet in this case, sir, the, 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 the poles, the magnetic poles would change every time in a second. So, sir, on the facing end of the electromagnet, if there is not pole and as there is not pole in front of the iron core itself, so the, it would cause repulsion if there is iron core on the facing end of the loudspeaker. And if there is south pole on the facing end of the loudspeaker, so it would cause an attraction. So the uh, loudspeaker would move in and out continuously, which would cause the vibration of particles. When the particles would vibrate, it would cause the region of compression and refraction to develop and the sound would, uh, would be formed and traveled in this way. What is the difference between electromagnetism and sound? For example, if this question comes in the topic of sound, what will you answer in that question? Hasnan Zainawa. So in the topic for sound, we will discuss how the sound is generated from the vibrations mm -hmm. rather than how the cone vibrates. Okay, so if the question so is from sound... the topic sound, of sound, we will say that... Um, that in chapter sound, the same question. These alternating magnetic fields, the, these alternating ma magnetic fields makes. Mm -hmm. In in chapter sound, the examiner asks how the vibrating cone of the loudspeaker produces sound. But in uh, chapter electromagnetism, the question is how the cone of the loudspeaker is made to vibrate. So in this question, how the cone is loudspeaker is made to vibrate, you, can, you have to answer how the magnetic field is causing the cone to vibrate. And similarly, when it is asked that how the vibrating cone is producing sound, you will uh, answer re uh, regarding compressions and rarefaction, right? Now the second use of the electromagnets is read relay. Read relay is a safety device, which means it can be, it, it is actually used to turn on bigger currents using smaller currents. What, what is actually, um, bigger current means what? With a higher voltage, with higher magnetic field also. Bigger currents means the currents that are dangerous to be operated. For example, if you are talking about transformers, Transformers have, have high voltage and high current supply connected to it. So if you start the transformer directly, they will, there's a chance of electric shock. So that in order to start transformer safely, you connect it with a relay. And read relay actually starts the transformer or any device that uses larger current by using smaller current. Now read the labeling of this circuit. There, are, there is a switch S which is open right now. There is a supply connected. There is a coil which is connected to the soft iron core. There is pivot and this pivot is not letting this insulated uh, piece of wire close the contacts to start the motor, right? So if you switch if you switch off, if you switch on this uh, circuit, switch S, if you switch on the circuit, then there will be current flowing in electromagnet 
and this electromagnet will attract the iron bar and by attracting the iron bar the contacts of the insulated wire connecting to the motor will be closed and this circuit will automatically be turned off using this switch s right so this switch s is actually connected with a smaller current supply which is less dangerous to be operated and this switch is actually switching this um, motor on by using this supply so it is a device that is used to turn on bigger currents using smaller currents when switch s is closed the soft iron core is magnetized this is soft iron core which is magnetized and the iron bar is attracted to the soft iron core the contacts are then closed and the motor turns on right so please copy this you do not need to draw this diagram for read relay because it is not um, part of the syllabus you just need to know the function it performs but the diagram of lord speaker is important anish read relay switches are used in the devices where there is large current to be operated for example the motor is a you can say if this so motor is a fan yeah fan can also be an example because it, they use larger currents right so but i am talking about transformers and the devices that uses larger currents and if they if they are turned on by a simple switch there is more chance to be electrocuted so they are connected to the read relay switches so you on read relay switch and read relay switch turns on that appliance which is connected to it right anish okay please copy this and write done in the chat box i have received more than 10 messages of done have well, have all of you done this girls any question related to loud speaker and read relay assalam alaikum masbia why are you late what is the difference between alternating current supply and direct current supply anyone so direct current supply is the one in which the current flows in one direction only whereas alternating current supply is the one in which the direction uh, of the current is changed in a second about a point what is the, the there are two differences between direct and in, uh, alternating current the so magnitude of the uh, alternating current is variable magnitude of alternating current is variable and the magnitude of alternating current varies between what two values zero and positive and zero. zero and positive uh, zero and maximum what is the difference between positive voltage and negative voltage positive voltage and negative voltage what is the difference between them said so the direction of the current is different but the magnitude is the same and what is the difference between direct current uh, the mag magnetic field of a direct current and magnetic field of alternating current sir so the direction of the direct current is same and the magnitude is also the same and why what will happen if i connect this loudspeaker So, uh, with the direct current supply will the sound be generated or not 
No, sir, it won't be generated because no. the last user won't move in and out and the Samir, file won't add that. Why yes, sir? are you not answering anything? Please answer me. If, sir, can you repeat the question? Yeah, the question is, if the loudspeaker is connected with the direct current supply, will the sound be generated or not? No, sir, because the magnetic fields would be then constant. So why is the magnetic field it needs to be changed? To, to have an yes, idea. Wait, let, let us be answered. Yes, Asbia. Asbia. Okay, Samir, continue. Sir, when there would be an alternating magnetic field, so then there would be attraction and repulsion. So why why there must be attraction and repulsion? So in order for the cone to move and in turn to generate the sound. Move or vibrate. Vibrate. The magnetic yes, magnetic. Asbia induced so it will allow the uh, current to fluctuate so that's why a magnetic field will be induced yeah sure okay so we are moving on to the next topic if, if there is any question regarding loudspeaker and read relay you can ask anyone is there any question regarding loudspeaker and read relay sir all clear yes yeah, so saying it would either attract or will repel if it attracts, the cone will move towards the loudspeaker, towards the uh, electromagnet, and there will be, you can say, rarefaction generated because the cone is moving inwards. There will be more gap for air molecules, so it, which will be called rarefaction. And similarly, when there will be the same poles induced at the facing end, the cone will move outwards, and repulsion will be observed. So compression will be created where the molecules are closer. Yes, uh, Asbia, ask about relay. What do you want to ask? Relay, relay is a safety device. Safety device means it actually keeps you protected from the chance of electrocution. So, wherever if there is a supply that uses um, higher currents or higher voltages, you cannot turn uh, the appliance on directly because the chance of getting electrocuted is greater as compared to switching on a lower current supply. So there are two supplies connected. One is actually connected with the appliance that uses larger current and the other supply is actually connected with the lower current supply. And the lower current supply in this diagram is uh, switch S which is connected to this supply. This supply is actually lower current supply. If you uh, close the switch, there will be current flowing in the electromagnet. And this electromagnet will attract the iron. By attracting iron, these contacts will be closed and the motor will be turned on. So you cannot turn on this motor directly because there is a larger current supply connected to the motor and there is more chance of getting electrocuted. So you turn this switch, uh, you turn this circuit off by closing the switch and then this electromagnet causes the uh, iron bar to be attracted and then these contacts are closed and the motor is turned on. So this is a safety device and the phenomenon is written when switch S is closed, the soft iron core is magnetized, it attracts the iron pivot, the contacts are closed and the motor turns on. Is there anything you want to ask further? No, sir. thank you. Go ahead. <clears throat> is it clear everyone? So we are moving to the next topic. And this is circuit breaker. Does anyone know about the circuit breaker? What is the phenomenon of a circuit breaker? So circuit it breaker cuts the supply of electricity when yes, the current is operating well due to principles of electromagnetism. Can you repeat it again, please? So it cuts the supply of the current to the circuit when the current exceeds operating value due to the principles of electromagnetism. Yeah, and Bariha has written does not let excessive flow of current. Yes, Bariha. Actually, circuit breaker is also a safety device. Do you know by, by which wire of the AC circuit is it connected? The live, live wire. Why, why is it connected to the live wire? So because because that's sir, it, live. Answer one by one. Yes, Samir. Samir, Samir, Samir. So because that's the main supply from where the current is coming. Okay, so there are two wires in the AC circuit. RAM. Differentiate between live wire and a neutral wire in the circuit. 
So live wires, the high voltage wire that actually carries the current from the power supply to the domestic appliance. Whereas the neutral wire is the low voltage wire that, car that carries low charges, low power charges from the domestic appliance to the power supply. Less energetic charges, yeah, right? Less energetic, yes. Okay. Now circuit breaker actually breaks the circuit when the current is when the, high. When the operating when the current through the live wire is greater than what? Operating current the, value of the, the operating current value, yes. If the appliance is of eight amperes, operating current value is eight amperes. The circuit breaker rating should be more than eight. Nine. Slightly greater than Slightly eight greater than 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 nine ampere, it can be ten ampere circuit breaker. So what will happen if the current exceeds eight amperes in the circuit? What will happen? Sir, so the circuit breaker would uh, create an electromagnet which which would break the circuit. Okay, so this is actually the diagram which will explain how this function happens. Okay. So whenever there is diagram given in the question, you have to read all the labeling of it. So it is written current in electromagnet, iron bar, fixed bar, pivot, spring, copper bar. This is another pivot, contacts, and this is current out, right? Current in, if the current exceeds the operating current value, what will happen? Will the electromagnet be stronger or weaker? Stronger. Stronger. Strength of, elect strength of electromagnet depends upon number of turns of the number of turns of the electromagnet Voice. and the and current, the current through the and the current flowing. flowing through. So if there is more current flowing in the electromagnet, the electromagnet will be stronger. Stronger. If the electromagnet is stronger, what will happen with what will uh, the iron bar do it will attract the iron bar attracting. so is it not attracting the iron bar at greater than uh, at less than 8 amperes no sir no. it's not it is actually attracting it but the force between the electromagnet and the iron bar is weaker it is not enough to lift the iron bar up right at less than 8 ampere at less than 8 ampere at less than 8 ampere the electromagnet will be attracting the iron bar but with a weaker force uh, weaker force <laughs> after 8 amperes the electromagnet will be strong enough to do what attract to attract, to attract the iron bar and if the iron bar is attracted what will happen with this string? So it will be compressed. Yes, Hajra, please turn on your mic and repeat. Hajra. Asbia, do you want to explain uh, this phenomenon? Magnet becomes uh, crosses 8 ampere. It will track the iron bar and it will compress the string. Very good. The spring will be compressed. The iron bar will be lifted upwards. The spring will be compressed. What will happen to this contact? So it will break or the contacts will be open. Yeah, the contact will open. If the contacts are open, will the current pass through the output terminal of the electro uh, yeah, circuit breaker or not? No, no it won't. No, sir. So if the contacts are open, there will be no current flowing through the external circuit. And by this, there will be no current flowing through the appliance as well. If the current exceeds the operating current value, what will, uh, will this be beneficial for us and how? Sorry, the circuit will break, no? The circuit will break, yes. So is it beneficial for us or not? If, if, if it does not happen, what will be yes, the harm? Current can damage the appliance. So damage the appliance. Because every appliance has a specific operating current value. If you give appliance more than that current, what will happen to the appliance? So it will get damaged. Yes. The appliance and the circuit of the appliance will be damaged. So in order to prevent more current than operating current flowing 
to the appliance we use circuit breaker in the live wire so whenever there is more current than the operating current value the circuit breaker opens the circuit and there will be no current flowing in the appliance now okay. there is yes sir instead of circuit breaker it cannot be used a resistor resistor actually does not breaks the circuit resistor controls the amount of current flowing through the circuit तो सर अगर वो कंट्रोल कर देगा करंट के अमाउंट को तो फिर तो नहीं होगा ना ये एक्सेसिव फ्लो ऑफ करंट एक्चुअली व्हेन देयर इज मोर करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू द सर्किट इट इट इज जस्ट बिकॉज़ ऑफ एनी टेक्निकल फॉल्ट इन द पावर स्टेशन फॉर एग्जांपल सो इफ देयर इज अ रेजिस्टर कनेक्टेड विद द सर्किट दिस रेजिस्टर कैन नॉट ऑटोमेटिकली रिड्यूस द करंट टू अ स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू ओके सो देयर इफ देयर इज अ सर्किट ब्रेकर इट विल ओनली अलाउ 8 एंपियर करंट टू पास थ्रू and if there is more current than 8 ampere current so it will break the circuit and will not allow the current to pass through it but the resistor will not do it resistor will uh, be allowing the current through it even if it is more than 8 amperes besides circuit breaker we have another uh, safety device connected to the live wire what is it called fuse what is the difference between fuse and a circuit breaker Sir, a circuit breaker is uh, should not be replaced, but the fuse has to be replaced. Why is fuse to be replaced? It that has a limit. Fuse melts because, because it burns down. Because the fuse has what? Sir, it has a thin wire which burns down. And uh, what about circuit breaker? Why is why it cannot why it should not be replaced? Sir, because it, it has, has an electromagnetic. It has a reset button. when the current is uh, you can say when the current is again normal and it is less than the operating current value then you can reset the iron bar back to its position the spring will again be stretched and the current will be flowing through the external circuit so whenever the current gets normal you press the reset button the iron bar comes to the same point and the appliance starts working again right the fuse breaks once it exceeds it's allowed amount of current whereas circuit breaker only stops the process until manually reset yes hazra good mohammad ali afzal it can be reset good arisha majid due to excessive electricity appliance will fuse you cannot write fuse but you can write appliance will uh, you can say the circuit of the, the parts of the circuit will be burned in order to avoid excessive supply of current which can damage the appliance very good damage the appliance Okay, so you cannot write trip because trip is actually not a scientific term to be used, ma'am. Now moving on to the topic, magnetic screening. Magnetic screening. Magnetic screening is the process by which we prevent the devices. that have magnets as a part of operating systems to interfere with the stray magnetic fields let me tell you an example i'm making two poles of magnet north pole and a south pole in between north pole and south pole what will be there magnetic field lines and magnetic field lines are from north to south north, north to, to south north. right am i drawing it correctly or not yes sir okay thank you sir now in this case there is an iron ring in between two poles of the magnet north and south this iron ring is disturbing the magnetic field lines as you can see right as you have put the iron ring in between the two poles of the magnet the magnetic field lines are passing through the iron ring when the iron ring was not present here were the magnetic field lines present here or not yes sir they were that they were but they so were passing after, through the sheet after placing iron ring what happened so they got disturbed and they were uh... this area 
where there were magnetic field lines present and are not present right now is called shielded area iron ring has actually evacuated this area by the magnetic field lines there is there is no magnetic field line between the iron ring right yes so if if you have an appliance in which there is a permanent magnet right the casing of the appliance is actually made of iron what does iron do iron sir, does not allow yes sir it helps to absorb the magnetic field lines the stray magnetic field you cannot say absorb you cannot say absorb Correct. iron iron sir, it concentrates oh, yeah so it concentrates yes, the magnetic field lines and does not allow it to pass through the shielded area or the permanent it, magnet yes it the magnetic field lines passes through the iron only it but the iron does not generate its own magnetic field and that's why the appliance which is actually having iron in itself is actually protected from stray magnetic field lines or you can say magnetic field lines outside the appliance will not interfere the magnetic field of the internal magnet of the appliance right so if you have yes. if you have any appliance that has magnet as a part of a system the casing of the appliance should be of plastic or iron iron why why should it not be of plastic sir so because it cannot focus the magnetic fields because plastic is a non magnetic material if you make the casing of the appliance of plastic the magnetic field lines will still pass through the plastic to the permanent magnet of the appliance and will disturb it and will not uh, let it do its operation right yes so if there is a appliance in which there is a permanent magnet part of the system so the casing of the appliance must be of iron iron so that there is no magnetic field line passing through the magnet and for this let me show you a video can you can you all see it yes sir yes sir this is also called magnetic shielding steel paper clip being attracted to iron and this is a plastic clipboard there is no disturbance by the plastic clipboard because it is non magnetic material so iron clip is still attracted to the magnet right but if you place any magnetic material between paper clip and the magnet there will be no attraction caused got it yes sir yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir which means all the magnetic field lines of the magnet are now passing through the steel sheet but not passing through the paper clip that's why it is not attracted yes okay now sir let me show you yes sir won't the uh, magnetism be induced in the steel which which would it cause be, it to it attract it will be induced it will be induced in the steel as well because but but the steel is a Uh, permanent magnet right it is difficult to magnetize and difficult to demagnetize so if steel is exposed to the magnetic field for a longer period of time then steel will be able to generate its own magnetic field okay theek okay. okay and now watch this around every current carrying conductor there is magnetic field what i have told you in the previous lesson so for this go through this with video as well there is a current carrying supply positive and the negative the direction of conventional current is from positive to negative and this is a paper board and they have plotted magnetic field lines around the wire and you can use also right hand grip rule to find out the direction of the magnetic field lines as well use right hand grip rule the direction of current should be direction of what thumb or curl sir in thumb. this case thumb thumb and the curl will tell you what the magnetic field so the magnetic field lines are circular clockwise or anti clockwise sir so they are clockwise clockwise and ram ram we were we were doing the question last night yeah uh, do you remember 
yeah 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 the, the same yeah. case this is the same case in which that option was c which was actually pointing towards left side samir yes and yes, umar okay you can go through that question again now let me tell you one more application this is bar magnet plotting magnetic field lines of a plotting compass i'll share with you all the uh, links it will give you so this is a plotting compass and this is permanent magnet right plotting compass the needle of the plotting compass is made of steel steel and is a permanent magnet the right side of this pointer is what is north pole is north pole so north is attracting south right so if you play, if you change the position of this plotting compass the, the the pointer on the plotting compass will also change see by this you can trace all the magnetic field lines around the permanent magnet so if you place the plotting compass here yes ram no sir i want to ask any question see the plotting compass is telling you the direction of the magnetic field lines around the permanent magnet and this is what is asked to write in this plotting magnetic field lines using compass place the magnet on paper in north south direction now place plotting compass okay so it was discussed in the previous class now i'm going to give you some questions you all have to answer it question number 29 read it ram can you read it for me yes sir a piece of electrical equipment is sensitive to magnetic field and a screen from them to do this it is enclosed in a box which material should be used to make the box b yes Iron. answer is yeah b Iron. next what always produces a permanent bar magnet d yes okay so answer is d d why d because iron cannot be a permanent magnet and steel can be magnetized only when the supply is direct current direct, direct current because direct current has constant magnitude magnetic and constant field. direction okay a reed relay is used in a circuit containing a bell how can the apparatus be altered to make the sound of the bell louder supply p is connected with relay this is the symbol for relay switch s is connected with bell and q so if you increase the number of turns on coil what will happen to bell will there be any effect on bell or not i am a answer c why c why not a b and d i am a answer is c because by increasing number of turns the strength of the magnet of relay will increase but they, this will have no effect to the loudness of the bell loudness of the bell is dependent upon voltage of the supply q that's why answer is c now one end of a rod picks up the north pole of a bar magnet when in position 1 the same end of the rod picks up the south pole of the bar when in position 2 which material is the rod made from and what is the pole at end p of the rod when in position 1 what is the property of a magnet so the answer is b why is the answer b sir because Uh, it is attracting both the magnets, so that means the material is made up of iron. And uh, and if the if, if the material if the if it is not if it is not of iron if if it is for a permanent magnet, for example. So what? So in position two, it would be 
repelling. Yes. Then it would yes, attract sir. one pole and repel the other pole. Very good. If it is attracting one pole, it must repel the other pole. Good, Maria. So the answer is B. B. B is the answer. Very good, Arisha, Azbia, Meer Hassan. Okay. Metal ring screens a piece of equipment from a magnetic field. Screening. Magnetic Just field. C. Why C? So because, because it protects the equipment from the stray magnetic fields. Because the iron has the property that it does not allow the magnetic field through itself. It concentrates the magnetic field lines through its walls. So there will be no magnetic field line passing through equipment. And that's the case in C. The metal carries the field lines around the equipment. C because iron is magnetic. I'm a good. Hajra good. As we are very good. Okay. Ji. Question number 27. The diagram shows the magnetic field. Yes. So the answer is A. Why A? Is read. When the current in the solenoid is increased, where is there an increase in the magnetic field strength? Everywhere, of course, because when there is increase in current, there will be increase in magnetic field. Answer is A. Because if you increase current, there will be increase in magnetic field and the magnetic field, wherever it is, will be increased. So answer is A. Now question number 27, four plotting compasses. Sir, C. Magnetic field is from north to south. This is the case of magnetic field. So on A, it should be towards left. On C, it should be towards down. And on D, it should be towards left as well. On B, it should be towards right. So answer is? C. 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 Good. Good, Maham. Question number 33. What proves that a metal bar is a permanent magnet? Sir, D. Sir, D. Because the magnet must? Repel. Must repel. So answer is D. Question number 34. Electrical apparatus is protected from magnetic fields by placing the apparatus in a box. What is the box made from? Iron. Sir, iron. The box must be made from? B. Iron. Okay, good. So this is all for today. We have discussed. Let me tell you what points were there for today. We had to describe the use of permanent magnets for electromagnets. Describe, describe the choice of material for and use for magnetic training. Describe the use of magnetic materials in the computer hard disk drive. Yes. Do you know about computer hard disk drive? Computer hard disk drive. Yes. How do you store data on computer hard disk drive? So magnetic Computer hard disk drive has magnetic tape and on that magnetic tape, there is magnetic coating. Okay. And why is it of magnet and it, uh, should it be of permanent magnet or a temporary magnet? The permanent. Why the permanent. It should be permanent magnet? But to store, to store the data permanently. So that the data stored on the drive retains and can be used, um, later. Mm -hmm. So, the coating on the magnetic storage tape is of permanent magnet so that it, it can be magnetized, it can be altered as well, and it can be used for the later purpose as well. Part J, describe the pattern of the magnetic field due to currents in a straight wire and in solenoids and state the effect on the magnetic field of changing the magnitude and direction of current. If you change the magnitude, the magnetic field will be changing as well. Yes, more yes. current, more, more magnetic field strength. And if you change the direction, the magnetic direction of magnetic field will also change. Describe the appliances, the applications of the magnetic effect of a current in relays, circuit breakers and loudspeakers. This is what we have discussed today. So if it is the, if, if, if you have any question, you can ask.
Anyone with any question? So can you explain that question where it said that when the current is increased, where will the magnetic field turn increase? Which that part? Part J? Part, oh, okay, question. KLM. This one, right? Yes. In this question, it is written when the current in the solenoid is increased. If you increase current, will the magnetic field strength be increased or not? It will increase. If the magnetic field strength is increasing, will it be increasing in only the region K, L, M, and or everywhere where there is magnetic field present? Everywhere where the magnetic field is present. So answer is KLN, KL and M because wherever there is magnetic field, when you increase current, the strength of magnetic field will also increase. Magnetic field lines will come closer after increasing the current in the solenoid. Any other question? Any question? Okay, so have you copied this circuit breaker? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm moving on to electromagnetism. Chapter two, electromagnetism. I'll give you just the basic detail of this chapter. Then we will start this chapter in the next class. Chapter two, electromagnetism starts from the same idea that we have discussed in the wait a minute okay chapter two starts from the same idea that we have discussed in chapter one which was around every current carrying conductor there is magnetic field so there's a there's a current which is carrying current upwards there will be magnetic field around it and i have shown you this in the video as well let me show you Again, this one. This is a wire carrying current, right? Yes, sir. So, around every current carrying conductor, there is magnetic field. If you change the direction of the current, the direction of magnetic field will also change. See, they have changed the direction of current, right? Now, the direction of magnetic field is anti clockwise, it was clockwise earlier. Got it? Yes, sir. And this is this is drawn here as well. See, when the current is upwards, the direction of magnetic field is anti-clockwise. And when the current is downwards, the direction of magnetic field is clockwise. So we can use we can use right hand grip rule. We can use right hand grip rule to find out the direction of magnetic field if you know the direction of current right so yes, you copy sir. this okay copy this The separation between the magnetic field lines is increasing as you go further from the wire. What does this represent? 
Sir, what? Can you repeat the question? The separation between the magnetic field lines is increasing as you go further from the current carrying source, right? What does this represent? Yes, so the magnetic fields are getting weaker as we move away from the wire. Yes. Yeah, the magnetic field strength is decreasing as you go further from the source. The source is current carrying wire. If there is no current, there will be no magnetic field. If I increase the magnitude of current, what will happen? What will be the change in the magnetic field lines? The, 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 the separation between the magnetic field lines will be? Less. Lesser. Good. Good, Arisha. Okay, that's all for today. We will carry on with this chapter in the uh, next class. Yeah, I tomorrow. have a question. I'm a bit confused. Yes, Asbia. Yes, as well. In the diagram towards the right side, the two current this, carrying this fields one? and then there is this one? Yeah, please. Okay. So, uh, in one of the diagram, the. Sir, I have a question. Yes. Are these both lines uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise? They're anti-clockwise, both of them. No, they are not anti-clockwise. This is anti-clockwise, this is clockwise. Anti-clockwise and the right one is clockwise, right? This is anti-clockwise. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is anti-clockwise. So current would this be is clockwise. Current, the north. Let me show you the video. Wait. Okay. See this video? In this video, you can see that the direction of current is downwards, right? Direction of current is downwards. Asbia? Downwards. Yes. Now, now see how they are drawing the magnetic field lines. Clockwise or anti-clockwise? If it's downwards, then this should be clockwise. So it is clockwise. You can use right hand grip rule as well. I did that. I did that. Okay. Now, if you change the direction of current, see the direction of current has changed. They have reversed the supply. So the direction of current is upwards now. Now see the change in magnetic field lines. They would be anti-clockwise. Yes, now they will be anti-clockwise. See, see the arrows. Got that, sir. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there any question, anyone, related to the topics which we have studied? Sir, no, sir. Okay, Allah, sir. Okay, Allah. No, sir. Allah. Yes. Allah Hafiz. Most welcome, Allah Hafiz. Sir? Yes. Yes, Maru. Yes, Anusha.
Sir, when's the class tomorrow? I think 12. At 12, I'll inform you. I'll send you the details. Sir? Yes? Because iron is not a permanent magnet, it does not create its own magnetic field. Iron Thank you, sir. uses the magnetic field of the source to generate its own magnetic field. When there is no source, there will be no magnetic field of iron. Okay. 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 Allah is everyone.